And we often talk about how local police agencies here in the U.S. are turning into small military forces, from armed tank-like vehicles to military-grade pepper spray, all being used on civilians. Tonight, we have yet another example. It's called the American Science and Engineering's Z Backscatter Vans. They should have just called it an X-ray van that spies on you. Listen to this. Another interested party in this are uh, bomb squads and state police, as well as explosive ordnance disposal teams. Because you can use the system uh, remotely and you can scan vehicles in it. Now, sure, I understand the need to check for explosives, but do you really trust law enforcement enough to use the device only in an emergency? I can totally see this mobile X-ray machine being driven around, scanning passing cars and trucks for just about anything. And what does this say about our civil liberties? That got us thinking, what would cops be able to see with this new technology? Maybe you stopped at a store heading home from work and grabbed a six-pack and placed it on the front seat. I'm betting that driver would be pulled over just for having beer in their car. Or how about those people who may have questionable mood enhancers on them? And what happens when the X-ray van catches some horny teens going at it in the back seat of a parked car? Call their parents and arrest them for public nudity? Hey, if the cars are rocking, don't come and knock in. But in all serious, <laughs> seriousness, this has really gone too far. Mobile X-ray vans really, I mean, we're already having our naked bodies X-rayed and scanned, microwaved when you go on a plane. And now this? When are we going to wake up in this country and fight for our civil liberties? The government already snoops on our emails and phone calls, and now we're going to give the police the power to see inside our cars. Where does the line get drawn?